You see a lot of, uh, I'm walking down from the summit right now on top of Bradbury Mountain. Beautiful. I mean, uh, my head's clear, I'll tell you that. If I did have anything up in my head, it's gone now. Very powerful. It's like the feeling that one with the universe and yourself is very powerful. Anybody who's experienced climbing mountains, you know, it's a good accomplishment, no matter how big the mountain is. It ain't the biggest mountain in the world, but very good to get out and get some exercise, maybe walk your dog, you know, or yourself, you know, you know a friend or a loved one. It's beautiful, though. I mean, I feel powerful right now, real powerful, you know, meaning, you know, mindful and at peace and whole, you know, and, uh, and I'm being aware, too, of uh, my thoughts, as always, but my thoughts are far from wanting to feel negative about everything, feeling great. I'm glad I did it. I was actually talking about climbing this mountain for a few days, and uh, I mean, not to you guys, but to, and I finally got a chance today to do it, and boy, boy, does it feel good. Uh, it feels great. If you're really having a hard time getting out of feeling uh, down, depressed, or feeling like you're not in sync with uh, the world and everyone, I mean, just get out of the house, you know? And check it out. That's the, uh, trail thing again. Um, and there's the northern loops of one mile summit. Um, but uh, it's beautiful out here. I mean, people talk about uh, getting a high. There's nothing like this natural high of climbing a mountain. It feels great. I mean, people up here meditating and stuff, you barely need to meditate because it's so empowering. And meditating, like I said, is you know, you can just do a blank stare at an object and shut your mind off from worrying about things, worrying about money, worrying about, you know, exes, worrying about love of your life, worrying about kids. Everyone has the right to uh, shut their mind off. And we'll accomplish a lot more in this life when we learn to be mindful and to stay out of old, you know, stinking thinking and anger and resentment. Ignore the person that honks at you, or even if they flick you off in traffic. It's very powerful, I do it. I used to flick them off back and get really mad, but it ruined my day, ruined my week. Yeah, right now I'm walking down from uh, on top of the summit, uh, Bradbury Mountain, Palinal, Freeport, Maine, slash Freeport, Maine, it's just kind of in Freeport. Uh, Palinal's a little small town, but this is the best I've felt in felt a, a couple days, really powerful. I'm gonna start doing this more often. What I'm gonna keep doing is going to, uh, keep going to state parks and, uh, and uh, you know, um, achieving my goals and trying to inspire people that are watching this. I mean, to, you can do anything you put your mind to, you know. I don't even, I have, a, to be honest with you, I got a bad ankle. You know, it's not, but I ignore it. And I wear a safety brace and stuff. And I mean, the ankle's not that, you know, it's pretty so decent, but I mean, it's, I'm not completely uh, health wise fit when it comes to that because of my ankle and foot. And I felt, you know, you know, 25, 30 feet, like uh, six years ago, I had my foot and ankle. And one powerful thing that I do is I don't think about it. Someday, I have to have surgery again on my ankle and foot. Um, but I don't think about it. I don't let it hold me back. Right? I am, you know, it didn't really hold me back from climbing a mountain uh, today. My old self, it would hold me back. A year ago, it would it, it held me back. I wouldn't have done it. I never, I never used to be a spontaneous, uh, spur-of-the-moment person, but now I am now. It's great to be spontaneous. People... Uh, you know, you thrive and you're spontaneous and, uh, you know, attract more people into your life too. Maybe the love of your life. Um, there's nothing like walking through the woods. It's, uh, I don't know, it just helps you be a one with uh, the earth and yourself. I mean, like I said, you don't even have to meditate. It's so powerful, the feeling, the high, the, uh, the release, the natural high of being able to of walking through the woods, especially climbing a mountain and that climbing back down a mountain. 
Um, at first, when you, well, at first in our minds, uh, it's really easy to, uh, you know, say uh, screw it and put it off or whatever. But it's so powerful to be able to do, you know. Uh, you so concentrated on getting to the top of the mountain and back down that you're not thinking about anything, anyways. You know, and once you reach it, it's a goal. So it's an accomplishment. You can say, "Hey, I claimed the mountain today," or yeah, "You climbed one this year, right?" The worst thing to do, I used to do it, was sitting on the couch watching TV. If you want to get out of the feeling depressed, um, I don't watch a lot of TV these days. I'll be honest, I watch it, you know, a little bit at night. <laughs> Not every night, though. You know, maybe maybe I'll take a glimpse in the morning or something. But for the most part, I mean, I used to be a TV aholic. I try to stay away from that, and when you get it, when we get out, when we, when every day is different and it's not the same, um, we're creating a new uh, identity and a new life. When we're not holding on to old resentments or old thinking patterns, it's about getting back to the where. It's where I is a good example of putting it is how we thought when we were kids. Everyone remembers we don't have to worry about bills or, or you know struggles or feeling depressed. For the most part, part uh, we're not depressed when we're kids for the most part. Some people are. Some people have a hard upbringing. Um, but this gets you back in touch with your, with your, with your, uh, with your soul, with the earth, and it helps you be mindful. I mean, I highly recommend it. I mean, it's very powerful to the mind. I mean, it gets the endorphins going. I mean, it's unbelievable the health benefits to mentally uh, even more so than physically to climbing a mountain or getting outside going for a walk I mean I mean, you just it's baby steps you know you don't start off running a marathon or walking a marathon right we start off a little and then we uh, keep setting goals and we go from there um, the biggest thing is not to set too high goals for yourself you know set goals that are manageable ones that you can reach the ones that I mean, uh, we all can reach whatever we want in this world, but when you're first starting out, after maybe going through a sad part in your life, you lost a loved one or, you know, had emotional breakdown, depression, it happens to a lot of people, and that doesn't make you any less, you know? But, uh, yeah, really powerful. Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you? Doing good. You can see people enjoying themselves out here on the, uh, trail for most part everyone uh, uh, very friendly there's not a ton of people out here it's pretty private uh, but if you want to looking for something to do or especially if you're feeling kind of down and you want to connect to your uh, you know be more for your uh, manifesting mindfulness happiness feeling at one it doesn't get any bigger than better than this I mean, uh, I'm not in the best shape, but, you know, this is, uh, I would, you know, I could do this almost every day. I don't know if my ankle and foot would allow it, but like I said, I mean, you got an ankle foot brace on and stuff. I didn't let that stop me. You know, a year ago I would have. Just for anybody out there that, uh, let anything uh, stop you because I, you know, biggest thing is getting obstacles in our way to our goals, and that's the worst thing for us. The best thing is to be, you know, free, think free, have an open heart, and to let go of, you know, anger, old resentments, and to not get caught up in everyday little beefs and drama that just throws us off course in our lives, and it's just not worth it. Again, I'm walking down from. There's someone on a blueberry mountain right now. It's beautiful. Um, I'm gonna get this video edited. I'm gonna edit it myself and then I'm gonna put it up so you guys will be watching this within a couple hours, hopefully. But this has been, oh, this is awesome. I'm really pumped that I did this. Again, I'm in Freeport, Maine. Walking down from the summit of Bradbury Mountain. It's beautiful. Um, feeling at one with the universe. So if you're feeling depressed or down, go for a walk or climb a mountain. This mountain ain't huge. You know, it's a little sized mountain. It's not that big. 
you know, it almost you know, only takes, I think, an hour to climb. Still a good workout, though. And you meet a lot of friendly people. And people out here, you can tell a lot of them get it. You know what I mean? They know what being at one with the universe is. You saw them meditating on top of the mountain. When you get yourself out in the wilderness and stuff, you'll get it because you'll feel it. It lifts you right up from any depression or being stuck in life. All we got to do is, you know, block out our fears and uh, and go for it. Don't let it hold us back to what our goals are in life. And like I said before, we want to have start off with little goals. Don't set huge goals, you know. If you want to set a goal of uh, going for a walk, you know. But you don't have to set it for like, you know, two miles, three miles, even a mile, you can say even a half a mile walk, baby steps, and you award yourself for it, and it's awarding itself, help you get out of your head, um, like I said, it's the best thing you could do for depression, and anger, and anxiety, and being feeling stuck in the world, because um, you're not alone, because I, like I said before, I used to suffer from depression, and anger, and post-traumatic stress, sorry, someone was trying to call me. Yeah, I used to suffer from depression, anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder. I no longer suffer from that stuff today because of meditation, mindfulness, practice and mindfulness. I don't worry about what other people's are th people are thinking, and I don't worry about uh, petty things. And I don't think about my bills. I don't think about all that stuff. I mean, obviously, you get it sometimes. You, I mean, we got to take care of our bills, our responsibilities, and stuff. But we don't need to live every day thinking about it worrying about spending money or whatever. Because you'll see, once you get mindful, um, everything else will fall into place, success and all that. Um, it never hurts to try something. And I'm telling you, this will help a lot of people uh, get out of their heads by getting out, going for a walk, or climbing a mountain like this. It's not a huge mountain, like I said, but it's still a mountain and it feels great to accomplish. And uh, Remember to turn that radio off on your way home or on your way to work or your way back, especially if you're having a lot of uh, racing thoughts. Give yourself permission to shut off your mind. Get back in the moment like you were in, and like I was when we were kids, right? Being in the moment, not worrying about bills, not worrying about adult issues, not worrying about being lonely or any of that. Everything will come. All you got to do is get out of the house, go for a walk, get some exercise, get out with people. People need people. We need connections. Good talking to you. Please subscribe. I'm checking out. Bye.